so you clicked on this video you want to grow your chest in a matter of weeks fuck this three months bench press two times a week bullshit you want to grow your chest fast and this title looks very clickbaity but it's actually not this is not a get jacked in two weeks scam i'm not saying that i have no product to sell you on this so there's no benefit of me telling you this and just scamming you for no reason there's no benefit I've tried this out and it really really worked not just on the chest but on other lagging muscle groups so what that is is nucleus overload it was made up from a youtuber called team 3d alpha he kind of invented this thing what you do is pick a muscle you're gonna train it every single day maybe five to seven times a week high volume for 30 days and you take a, a two week break, a one or two week break, then you go back to your normal training routine, that part of the muscle will blow up. And I didn't believe this shit, because it sounded too good to be true. Gay muscle in a matter of weeks. That sounds like the fucking scammy ads that you always listen to. Oh, look at me, I eat pizza and I have big biceps. It looked like one of those. And then some scientific evidence started to come out and how uh, some of his friends used it and it worked. So I was thinking, let me try this out. And then I realized I was doing nucleus overload without even knowing it. It says training muscle every single day, right? But before I would go to the gym, I would do push ups every single day. I started training my biceps really recently, but push ups I've been doing for about a year and a half nearly. Even though in the beginning I could only do one or two. But I've been only doing push-ups, not bicep curls, not bench press, push-ups. And doing push-ups target your chest really well. And you do that every single day. And there's also another thing I realized, I'm putting pieces together. Andrew Tate doesn't lift weights much, he does push-ups every single day. And look how big his chest is. I know I, I don't have great genetics because first of all, right, when I, before I started working out, my chest wasn't great. And my chest insertions are completely average. I still have the gap in the middle that everyone has. I don't have some insane genetics. But when I'll do those push-ups, if I'm being honest, I did not do it for a month. I didn't know about nucleus overload. I just trained it every single day, some days rest. My chest was really fucking big. Even when my triceps were okay, shoulders were a bit shit, biceps were horrible. But my chest was really fucking big, especially compared to other parts of my physique. I was confused, I was thinking, oh, it's genetics. But then I realized I've been doing push-ups every day for about a year straight before I started going to the gym. So there's a lot of myonuclei built up in the cells wherever, you know, you're doing your nucleus overload training. And that actually increases androgen receptor density. So I always talk about testosterone androgen receptor. Androgen receptor is the most important. You need androgen receptor to bind to testosterone. And doing nucleus overload increases the androgen receptor density. Think of how overpowered that is. You're going to have shit genetics for a certain muscle group. For example, me, I might have a good chest, but I always had bad shoulders. Not because of the size, because my clavicles are very narrow. So I was like, wait, why don't I do this with my side delt? You know, I need to train my side delt in order for my shoulders to look wider. So, this is obviously, this is not good lighting, but you see my side that was really grown. I did this in a matter of three months, and I'm not some genetic freak either. I eat very clean, if I'm being honest, but I do have a lot of sleep issues. Like today, I, it's nearly impossible for me to get REM sleep. So, my lifestyle factors aren't the best, and I don't have the best genetics. I started out fat. My body was a complete pear shape when I started training. My clavicles were going inside, my belly was like this. My hips were wider than my shoulders. Think of how fucking insane that is. Imagine you look more like a woman than you do a man. I was able to achieve this physique quite fast, about a year and a half. And the first six months, I don't really count that much because I wasn't really working out. Just most days I'll do a couple of push-ups. And even then in the beginning, I couldn't do much. And I made progress quite fast. But I don't recommend you do it with big muscle groups like legs. You don't want to be doing nucleus overload on legs. You're going to fuck them up. But if you want to grow your chest, you don't have to do push-ups. 
Do you bench press every single day for 30 days? I guarantee you, your chest will grow a lot, very fast. This is quick results I'm talking about. Like I said before, there's nothing here for me to sell you. If you don't get a good chest, if you get a good chest, it doesn't change anything for me. Just try this out for yourself. But be careful though. You don't want to have a really big lower chest because that can make your chest just look soggy. So, so make sure your chest doesn't get soggy. So make sure your upper chest and lower chest is even. Just remember, this is not a fix to not having any muscle. This is just a quick thing you can implement if you have a lagging muscle group or you want to grow a certain muscle group more. So this is not going to make you jacked. Just know that. So do your normal training, everything. And at a certain point, if you notice some muscle groups are better than others, the ones that are lagging, implement Nucleus Overload. It will help you a lot. By the way, bro, if you got to the end of this video, I know you're not like the 99%. The 99% couldn't watch this video for 15 seconds before clicking off because they need some clown entertaining shit, some stimulating video game. It's not enough for their brain for me to be talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. If you just watch this video, you have a better attention span than 99% of people. Think about how fucked that is. That is the average man. Those are the people you're not going to be competing with. Those people are the easiest to beat. But the other 1%, 5%, they have a good attention span. They want to get rich. They want to be jacked. They have a six pack. Then it's hard. Let's become strong men again in a week's society. Bye.